Nicole from Nicole's... Okay. <laughs> so, hi, I'm Nicole. Um, welcome to my channel. If you are new, thank you for clicking on this video. It's wonderful to meet you. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? Happy New Year to you. So today's video is for a new collection from Glam Polish. I have their six-piece Camelot collection. So this collection... Ooh, cat hair. So this collection launches this Friday on the Glam Polish website. So for the first 72 hours of this collection launching, there will be a coupon, well two coupon codes in place. One coupon code is if you want to grab each shade individually, that will be 5% off. The code is on the screen now. Um, the second code is for if you want to pick up the entire collection, that will be 10% off and the code is on the screen now. If you are new to the brand, Glam Polish is an Australian based brand. Uh, their polishes do ship from the US, so shipping is pretty good with them. Uh, their polishes are five free, cruelty free, and vegan friendly. As always, I will have links to the Glam Polish website, their social media pages, down in the description box. I will also have timestamps and a link to my blog post down there as well. Let's just get into this video. First up we have Enchanting Merlin. This polish is described as an off-white hollow base with platinum flakes, gold flakies, as well as chrome pigment. Enchanting Merlin had a really great curly formula. All of the flakes spout very evenly and easily without giving off any noticeable texture. The base color for this polish, I would say that this is one of those colors that is either a very, very, very pale uh, gray or like a darker off-white shade. However you want to phrase it, it is that type of color. The linear holographic pigment in here gives off some very subtle rainbows. I found that the base was just a touch too opaque to really give you like a lot of boom rainbows, but you're definitely going to see some gorgeous rainbows. Here I tweaked my lighting so you could all see the holographic. So I swatched this polish in two coats. It does dry down a little bit dull, so you will definitely want top coat for a glossy finish, and nothing in here will be difficult to remove. And now we have King Arthur. This polish is described as a clear base with aurora shimmer, gold metallic flakies, and sapphire and red metallic glitter. King Arthur had a really gorgeous formula. The base did not feel overly thick or thin, and I did not have any application issues other than me here on that first coat. I, I didn't get enough polish out on my brush, <laughs> but that was totally on me. I, I don't know what was going on. Um, anyway, so the glitters and flakes all spread very evenly and easily. I did not notice the glitters giving off very much texture. Um, for my final shot, I will have this with one coat of top coat. I had this on for about 24 hours and I did not notice the polish seeming any less glossy or um, smooth after that time. So I would not say you would need to double up on base um, top coat for this polish to keep it nice and glossy. Since all of these components are in a clear base, this can definitely be used as a topper in one to two coats. I will have it shown in a one coat over Heather's Hue Shadow, which is her one coat black. I am gonna be showing this one here in three coats. So in three coats, I had like 98% opacity because my, my, the length of my nails are clear. I did have a little bit of visible nail line, but I think for those of you with natural nails, you will not have visible nail line with this one in three coats. So like I mentioned, nothing here, dry down textured. Removal will not be overly difficult if you choose to go for the soak off method. That's how I removed this one and I did not have any issues. I, I'd say if you try to scrub it off, you might have some problems though. Next up we have Morgan Le Fay and this is described as an indigo jelly base with aurora shimmer, shifting iridescent flakes and neon green glitter mix plus ultra holographic glitter. Morgan Le Fay had a really great formula. As you're seeing here on this first coat, it's looking kind of meh. In the bottle, I was not too sure about this one, but it, it really impressed me um, in three coats. So the glitters and flakies in here all spread out very evenly and easily without giving off very much texture. There were a couple of the larger flakies, which you all know that I absolutely love in a nail polish. The glitters and flakies in here all lay down fairly smooth. I did end up going in for two coats of top coat just to err on the side of caution. I can't say for sure if that was 100% necessary because this did, this did dry down fairly smooth, but I did use two coats of top coat to completely smooth it out. I also think this polish will be a two to three coater depending on your own personal preference. To get the color that you see in the bottle, you will definitely want to go in for that third coat, but this applies very evenly. 
so if you only wanted to go in for two coats you definitely could and look at that shimmer like I was just drooling looking at like <laughs> you all should have heard me like I was just like oh my god oh my god that is so pretty um so nothing in here dry down textured removal will be fairly easy if you soak this one off I also did not experience any staining Next up, we have Queen Guinevere. This one is described as a pastel lavender base with platinum flakes, metallic gold flakes, as well as tiny purple flakes. Once again, we have a fantastic Crelly base. Formula is really great as well. The base did not feel overly thick or thin and no application issues. All of the flakes felt very evenly and easily on their own without giving off very much texture. In fact, they dry down very flat. I found that the platinum flakes in particular give this a very regal look on the nail. Like it just was super, super pretty. So I swatched this polish in two coats. I had like a teeny tiny amount of visible nail line on the clear part of my nail. It was very, very minimal. I think most people will be good in two coats with this polish. Nothing in here, dry down textured, nor will it be difficult to remove. You will want top coat for a nice glossy finish and I soaked this one off with no issues. Next up, we have Sir Lancelot. This polish is described as a black jelly base with a strong blue Aurora shimmer and silver ultra hollow glitter mix. Sir Lancelot had a really wonderful formula. This was actually the polish that I thought was going to be my favorite, but ended up not being my favorite. I was kind of surprised about that one. This polish starts off fairly sheer, but it builds up very easily. Um, two to three quarter, depending on your own personal preference. The glitters all spread up very evenly and easily, and these are extremely holographic. These have a beautiful holographic sparkle. I found that in all of the lighting around my house, even like the crappy kitchen lighting, that this one looks really beautiful and sparkly and holographic. The shimmer in here is very strong and it does not show brush strokes. This is one of those kind of polishes where the shimmer effect is so strong that you kind of miss what the base color is. Like on the nail, if I, if I hadn't seen the description, I would have thought this was a blue base with like a very strong blue shimmer. Like the shimmer is so strong that you don't realize that the base is actually black. So like I mentioned, two to three coated, depending on your own personal preference, like shorter nails will likely be good in two coats. Longer nails will likely want to go in for three. So this one did not dry down super textured. I did pair it with a glitter smoothing top coat just because it had so much glitter in it. I don't know if that was 100% necessary, but that is what I did. Removal on here will be on the more difficult side just due to all the glitters. I soaked this one off with no issues. And the final polish is called Tristan and Azolda. It is described as a pastel pink base with platinum flakes, ultra hollow glitter, and hollow micro glitter. This polish had a really beautiful Crelly formula. The base is that really soft, like stereotypical <laughs> princessy pink pastel type of shade. Polishes like this are how, basically how to get me to like pastel shades because they, they, they don't do anything for me, but you throw in some flakies and glitters and I am a happy camper. So the glitters and flakes all spread very evenly and easily. Um, they did not dry down textured. I used one coat of top coat and that seemed to smooth it out completely. I did find because of the pastel nature of this polish, it was a little bit more streaky, a little bit more uneven than the other polishes in this collection. I found that I definitely needed those three coats to get this one like perfectly opaque. I did notice like if I really looked at my nail, I did have some light spots after three coats, but I did notice that once I added top coat, I really could not see them even though I was really looking for them. The top coat definitely like adds a nice glossy finish and makes this look uh, a lot nicer than without. That sounds bad. I mean that in a good way, but that, that sounded terrible. So nothing in here, dry down textured. Removal will not be overly difficult. I had no issues soaking it off and I used three coats for my swatches here. Um, I thought the collection was really fantastic. Um, I'm not really a fan, I always say this, I'm not really a fan of pastel colors, but I feel like pastels, once you add some flaky, some glitter, shimmer, what have you, then I, I am more inclined to like pastels. So I thought the collection was really beautiful as a whole. Okay, this is a bit of a critique for me. Um, I kind of feel, I'm a little surprised by the color story to be honest, like I wouldn't have put like the, the so like, I'm holding them up. All right, so these three colors and these three colors, I would not have put these three together in a collection. I don't feel like the color stories between these three necessary, like these three and these three necessarily go together. 
Um, but I think the collection as a whole is really beautiful, so <laughs> I'm happy with it. So my top picks from this release are going to be Morgan Le Fay. <laughs> so this one is a top pick because I was genuinely surprised that I liked it. Like I saw it in the bottle and I was like, meh, like meh, I, I don't know, I, I didn't think much of it. And then I got it on the nail and it was just really, really stunning. I think it's the, the shimmer and the green glitters that really did it for me for this one. I think that's why I liked it as much as I did. But like, I was just generally surprised at how much I like this one. So this is why it's top pick. And my second top pick is going to be King Arthur. Um, this one's going to be a no brainer. Like you got shimmer, you got gold and you have glitter. So I, I was a happy camper with this one. This one was really beautiful as well. I will give an honorable mention to Enchanting Merlin. Is that it? Yeah. Enchanting Merlin. So this one is one of, this is one of those shades where it is an off-white, but it is like the lightest shade of light gray that you get to before you can call it. Like it's, I feel like ca calling this an off-white is splitting hairs with calling it a, an extremely pale gray. It's like in that sweet spot between those two colors. I always really like uh, gray polishes and like off-white counts as, as gray pretty much. <laughs> so I believe each polish will be $12.50. Um, if you grab them on, within the first 72 hours, so basically for the whole weekend, um, individual shades will be 5% off. If you grab the whole collection, it'll be 10% off. So yeah, I would love to know what you all thought of this release. I am not really like a geek for the King Arthur tales and adventures and whatnot. I have seen more of like the movies and TV shows than I personally would like. My husband is very, very, very fond of like all of the King Arthur themed movies. I would love to know what everyone thought of this collection. Um, if you're planning on picking up, let me know what you're grabbing. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, consider hitting that like button. If, if you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, so I will just see you all in the next video. Bye.